Hi everyone. Today we will discuss about innate immunity which is a basic topic of the immunology and the principal components of immune innate immunity and I will do a separate video on the topic cell associated pattern recognition receptors and sensors which is a principal component of innate immunity and I felt it is an important topic in MSc level so I will definitely do a separate uh, single video on, on cell associated pattern recognition receptors and sen sensors like pathogen associated molecular pattern then damage associated molecular patterns and uh, pattern recognition receptors tall like receptors like this so this is very important topic in MSc levels uh, so I will definitely do a video on this topics and in this video we will discuss about the physical chemical barrier soluble effector molecules cellular components etc so let's look what are the factors or principal components of innate immunity innate immunity means the defense or resistance obtained through birth it is called as innate immunity. Innate immunity by birth is called immunity. Innate immunity is called immunity. The natural defense mechanism is naturally obtained immune response or immune immunity. Innate immunity is called innate We all know that it is inherited from parents to young ones. And the main important thing about the innate immunity is that it is non specific. Non specific means all living organisms are naturally gifted with the resistance to certain infections from birth itself so if virus is atta attacking us if bacteria is attacking us if fungi is attacking us innate immunity will respond or protect us from this so they are not specific to certain kind of microorganisms or foreign particles attacking us it is non specific it will attack almost all kinds of foreign particles so it is an important point in innate immunity and it is a general protective reaction of organism against any invasion which I have told. The mechanism is effective against a wide range of infectious agents and it operates through many factors such as physical and mechanical factors, biochemical factors, cellular factors, genetic factors, body temperature, inflammation and fever. We will be discussing one by one in detail. Due to lack of time, I couldn't make good uh, PPT. Physical and mechanical factors. The physical and mechanical factors of innate immunity include first one is skin, second is mucous membrane, then coughing and sneezing and peristalsis. So then cilia, tear, saliva and urine. What is skin? How skin is protecting us from this invaders? Skin is very good barrier to infections because it contains an outer layer called stratum corneum. Skin in the outer layer, right, less stratum corneum, infectious microorganisms in impermeable It will not allow this infectious microorganisms to enter to our body through the stratum corneum because it is impermeable to infectious microorganism and it is very good mechanical barrier then in case of loss of the skin due to burns burns um infections okay in sorry burns okay in the summit or any or major uh, cut to cover in the summit the infections occur quickly because it uh, the stratum corneum will be removed due to this burning upon in a way in the infectious microorganism in a easily item number of body like and dream but Okay, so skin is the first mechanical barrier and it contains stratum corneum, stratum corneum which is impermeable to micro infectious microorganism. Second one is mucous membrane. Mucous membrane is the linings of openings, passages of body. Body in the uh, uh, all openings, passage loke, all the mucous membrane and it will secrete the mucus. What is the speciality of mucus? Mucus is the sticky nature. So, it can trap the microorganisms and the mucus also uh, also acts as protective barrier to block the adherence of bacteria to the epithelial cells this is a function of mucus membrane then cilia what is cilia cilia means the epithelial cells of respiratory passage we all know that respiratory passage are lined with many cilia's 
and due to the, its constant movement of the cilia the entrapped microorganism in mucus of respiratory passage are swept away okay respiratory passage inde avade oru baadu cilia sundavum aa cilia nu parina constant movement aayirikum due to its constant movement thanne avade vannu nikkuna entrapped aayittla microorganisathine okke it they can swept away that is a function of cilia then fourth one is coughing and sneezing coughing and sneezing we all know that mechanical actions coughing sneezing which help to driving out the foreign particles that enter the digestive or respiratory tract digestive tract or respiratory tract lo verna foreign particles ne drive out cheyan vendittu nammude body help cheyna or mechanical actions aanu coughing and sneezing which help in driving out of foreign particles next one is peristalsis it is a movement right that is ഇൻറ്റസ്റ്റൈനിൽ വരുന്ന മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസത്തിന് അതായത് ബൈ എക്സ്കേപ്പിംഗ് ദേഴ്സ് ബാരിയേഴ്സ് സ്കിന്ന് മ്യൂക്കസ് മെമ്പ്രൈൻ സീലിയനെ ഒക്കെ എസ്കേപ്പ് ചെയ്ത് ഇൻറ്റസ്റ്റൈനിൽ എത്തുന്ന മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസംസ് ദ ആർ പുഷ്ഡ് അവേ ബൈ ദ പെരിസ്റ്റാൽട്ടിക് മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻറ്റസ്റ്റൈൻ ബിഫോർ ദ കുഡ് ഇൻവേഡ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രോ ദർ ഓക്കെ പെരിസ്റ്റാ ഇൻറ്റസ്റ്റൈൻ്റെ പെരിസ്റ്റാൽട്ടിക് മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് മൂവ്മെൻറ്റോട് കൂടി ഈ ഈ എല്ലാ ബാരിയേഴ്സിനെയും കടന്ന് ഇൻഡസ്റ്റൈനിൽ എത്തുന്ന ഇൻഫെക്ഷ്യസ് മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസത്തിനെ അവർക്ക് പുഷ് ചെയ്യാൻ സാധിക്കും ദ ക്യാൻ പുഷ് ദ വേ ബൈ പെരിസ്റ്റാൽട്ടിക് മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഡസ്റ്റൈൻ ബിഫോർ ദ ഗെറ്റ് ഇൻവേഡ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രോ ദർ ദിസ് ആർ ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് പോയിൻറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ പെരിസ്റ്റാൽസസ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് വെരി സിമിലർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ടിയർ സലേവ യൂറിൻ ടിയർ മീൻസ് ദ കൺജെക്റ്റീവ് ഓഫ് ദ ഐ which is freed of foreign particles by flushing of the lacrimal secretion namely tear lacrimal gland secrete cheyanaanu lacrimal secretion that is tear whatever is coming to our eye it will be washed off by lacrimal secretion that is tear what in case of mouth mouth is constantly bathed in saliva and the pathogens that enter in mouth is swallowed by salivary secretion and digested in the gut the washing action of the urine also eliminates microbial organisms from urethra these are the functions of tear saliva and urine next one is biochemical factors biochemical factors means the secretions of the skin the digestive tract human milk nasal secretion lysozyme interferons complement properdin secretions of bacterial flora semen acute phase proteins let's look one by one first one is secretion of skin the high concentration of salt in sweat causes bactericidal activity nammude skin secrete in sweat sweat nu parina higher in salt concentration aayirikum with the low ph that is 5.5 it is slightly acidic in nature which has microbicidal activity the secretions of the sebaceous sweat glands act as antiseptics because they contain lactic acid as well as fatty acids which have bactericidal and fungicidal properties but in another important point that is in but in certain areas of our body namely the soles of the feet which doesn't contains the sebaceous glands thereby this areas are more attacked by fungal growth and they are referred to as alkaline gaps okay the soles of our feet is deficient from the sebaceous glands and thereby this areas are more attacked by fungal growth and they are referred to as alkaline gaps another one is secretion of digestive tract high acidity of stomach ph is 2 which has a microbicidal effect and this is due to the presence of hcl hydrochloric acid in the gastric juice which is secreted by the auxintic cells lining the stomach hcl hcl is a gastric juice which is present in the stomach with high acidity which has a microbicidal effect next one is human milk human milk is rich in antibacterial substances like lactoferritin and neuraminic acid they fight against e coli and staphylococci this lactoferrin means 
they can bind and sec sequester the metal ions that is in ion uh, needed by the bacteria and fungi and limiting their growth this is the function of the human milk that is it contains a lactoferritin what is the function of lactoferritin it will binds and sequester the metal ions which is needed by the bacteria and fungi and limiting their growth next one is nas nasal secretions and saliva this secretions contain mucopolysaccharides which inactive certain viruses mucopolysaccharides and our nasal secretions ilum salivalum and they can inactive the certain viruses then next one is lysosome lysosome means tears nasal secretions saliva polymorphonuclear leukocytes human milk and most tissue fluids ilum lysosome undav except csf that is cerebrospinal fluid sweat urine except cerebro sorry cerebrospinal fluid sweat and urine lysosome is present in tears nasal secretion saliva etc they contain a mycolytic enzyme that is n acetyl muramidase known as lysosome what is the function of lysosome the function is that they can kill the all kill or uh, kill or cleave the microorganisms by cleaving the peptidoglycan components of the bacterial cell wall microbiology students will be familiar with the structure of bacterial cell wall gram positive and gram negative and the peptidoglycan synthesis etc so the function of lysosome is to cleave the peptidoglycan synthesis or peptidoglycan components of the bacterial cell walls and thereby killing bacteria and this was first discovered by fleming in 1992 and it is a low molecular weight basic protein which is lysosome helps in lysis of many gram positive bacteria by splitting up the sugars from the glycopeptides of the cell wall in the presence of additional serum complement factors it can digest some of the gram negative bacteria also so the rich or commercial source of lysosome is egg white this is a function of lysosome next one is interferons they are soluble non toxic glycoproteins which is produced by cell all cells of the body and they are anti viral agent function is to inhibit intracellular viral replication and cells infected with virus virus attack aitla infected aitla cells in the cells in the ullil ee viral replication ne inhibit cheyum because they have an anti viral agent this is an anti viral agent interferons is an anti viral agent which can inhibit intracellular viral replication interferons appears in the cells before any detectable antibody for the virus could appear antibodies okay detect virus in a detect cheyinadina munne thanne interferons na vannittu appear eyan pattu because it can repress uh, it can recognize a virus before antibody king it offers resistance by blocking viral mrna transcription thereby disrupting the viral cell cycle life cycle mrna and uh, viral mrna transcription na block cheyu അങ്ങനെ വൈറൽ ലൈഫ് സൈക്കിളിനെ ഡിസ്റ്റർപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള കപ്പാസിറ്റി ആയിരിക്കണ്ട ഇൻറ്റർഫെറോൺസിനാണ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് അബൌട്ട് ഇൻറ്റർഫെറോൺസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ബയോകെമിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് മെക്കാനിക്കൽ വിച്ച് വി ഹാവ് ലേൺഡ് നൗ ദെൻ ഇൻറ്റർഫെറോൺസ് ഓൾസോ എൻ എൻഹാൻസ് എൻ കെ സെൽ വാട്ട് ഇസ് എൻ കെ സെൽ നാച്ചുറൽ കില്ലർ സെൽ ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ദസ് ഓഫറിംഗ് ഇമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ടു ക്യാൻസർ ഓക്കെ ദേ വിൽ ഇൻഹിബിറ്റ് സെൽ proliferation in tumors thereby assuring its use in cancer chemotherapy because antiviral aan anti cancer aan antiviral anti cancer property in the interferons in so large quantities of interferons ipum commercially prepare cheyunnundu because it helps in treatment of certain viral infections as well as in cancer therapy okay manufacture of interferons nu parayunnathu ഒരു മേജർ ബ്രേക്ക് ത്രൂ ഇൻ സയൻസ് ആണ് ബിക്കോസ് ഹ്യൂമൻ ഇൻറ്റർഫെറോൺസിനെ നമുക്ക് ആർ ഡി എൻ എ ടെക്നോളജീസ് യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഹസ് ബീൻ ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഈക്വളൈ ജിനോം ടു പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് മെനി ഇൻറ്റർഫെറോൺസ് ബൈ ഈക്വളൈ ഇപ്പം ആർ ഡി എൻ എ ടെക്നോളജി ഒക
നമ്മൾ പഠിച്ചതാണ് അപ്പോൾ ആർ ഡി എ ടെക്നോളജി യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഒരു കൊമേഴ്ഷ്യൽ അപ്രോച്ച് അപ്രോച്ചിൽ നമുക്ക് ഒരുപാട് ഇൻറ്റർഫെറോൺസിനെ മാനുഫാക്ചർ ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് കാരണം ഹ്യൂമൺ ഇൻറ്റർഫെറോൺസിനെ ഈക്വളായി ജീനാമിലേക്ക് ഇൻട്രഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഈക്വളായി ഒരുപാട് ഇൻറ്റർഫെറോൺസിനെ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്ത് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ ആൻറ്റി വൈറൽ ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻസിനെതിരെയും ക്യാൻസർ തെറാപ്പിയിലൊക്കെ ഇൻറ്റർഫെറോൺസ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ബോത്ത് ആൻറ്റി വൈറൽ ആൻറ്റി ക്യാൻസർ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫങ്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ഇൻറ്റർഫെറോൺസ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് കോംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് കോംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരു കോംപ്ലെക്സ് സിസ്റ്റം ഓഫ് ആൻസൈമാറ്റിക് പ്രോട്ടീൻസ് ആണ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂ ഫൗണ്ട് ഇൻ സെറം ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ആക്ടിവേറ്റഡ് ബൈ ആൻറ്റിജൻ ആൻറ്റിബോഡി കോംപ്ലെക്സ് ആൻറ്റിജൻ ആൻറ്റിബോഡി ബൈൻഡ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ആൻറ്റിജൻ ആൻറ്റിബോഡി കോംപ്ലെക്സ് ഫോം ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഈ ഒരു എൻസൈമാറ്റിക് പ്രോട്ടീൻസ് അതായത് കോംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റിനെ ആക്ടിവേറ്റ് ചെയ്യും ആക്ടിവേഷൻ ഓഫ് കോംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് ഇൻക്രീസസ് ഫാഗോസൈറ്റോസിസ് വെൻ ദിസ് കോംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ഗെറ്റ്സ് ആക്ടിവേറ്റഡ് ഇറ്റ് വെൽ ഇൻക്രീസ് ദ ഫാഗോസൈറ്റോസിസ് and destruction of the microbial organism and enter an individual so what is a phagocytosis phagocytosis means it is a injection of uh, invading foreign particles such as bacteria by individual cell that is called as phagocytosis so phagocytosis in a complement system activated i kaya phagocytosis increase him and destruction of certain microbial organism and it also operates by three major mechanism classical alternative and lectin pathway there are three pathways involved in complement system that is classical pathway alternative pathway and lectin pathway the main function is that opsonization of micro organism opsonization the process by which a particulate antigens are rendered more susceptible to phagocytosis is called as opsonizations okay i will be adding extra points so you can note it down the main function of complement is opsonization and the formation of membrane attack complex mac complexes thereby promoting their phagocytosis and lysis so these are the functions of complement system how they get activated and when they get activated they will increase phagocytosis and they contain major mechanisms or uh, three important pathways and main function is opsonization and formation of mac and promoting phagocytosis and lysis this is a function of complement then next one is properdin it is a group of protein which is present in normal serum involved in resistance to infections like uh, along with this complement and magnesium this causes lysis of gram negative bacteria also inactivates certain virus okay properdin uh, properdin nu arinathu or group of proteins aanu serathil nammal kaanunna appo കോംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റത്തിൻ്റെ കൂടെ മെഗ്നീഷ്യം കൂടി ചേർന്നിട്ട് ഇവർ ഗ്രാം നെഗറ്റീവ് ബാക്ടീരിയനെ ലൈസ് ചെയ്യാൻ ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യും ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ദേ വിൽ ഇൻ ഇൻആക്ടിവേറ്റ് സെർട്ടൺ വൈറസസ് ഓൾസോ ദൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് സെക്രേഷൻ ഓഫ് ബാക്ടീരിയൽ ഫ്ലോറ സെക്രേഷൻ ഓഫ് ബാക്ടീരിയൽ ഫ്ലോറയിൽ ദ ബാക്ടീരിയൽ ഫ്ലോറ ഓഫ് സ്കിൻ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് വാരിയസ് ആൻറ്റി മൈക്രോബിയൽ സബ്സ്റ്റൻസ് സെച്ചസ് ബാക്ടീരിയോസിൻസ് ഉണ്ടാവും ആസിഡ്സ് ഉണ്ടാവും സോ ബാക്ടീരിയൽ ഫ്ലോർ ഓഫ് ഹ്യൂമൻ ഗട്ട് leave as common cells it leave him because we contains many beneficial bacteria in our gut they secrete collagen and acids which do not allow the entry of other microorganism into the body and will stimulate the immune system for what to function against other microbial antigens and if the common cells which is already present in the gut of an human being are removed by antibiotics the pathogenic organisms gain easy entry the lactobacilli in vagina another important thing is that in a female vagina it contains lact uh, lactobacilli which has an antibacterial property because moreover the microflora of mucous membrane prevent pro- proliferation of pathogenic organism by promoting inhibitory substance Uh, like hydrogen peroxide antibiotics or by altering the ph to make it unsuitable for growth of other microbes so this is also an important point bacterial flora secretion bacteriocins acids collagen and acids and in vagina the uh, lactobacilli acid which is slightly acidic in nature which kills the bacteria then next is semen it contains bactericidal components like spermine and zinc semen 
contains spermine and zinc which has a bactericidal activity next one is acute phase protein acute phase proteins means these are plasma proteins which increase very rapidly during infection one example of this group is c reactive protein crp which is called so because of the ability to bind to c protein of pneumococci pneumococci in the c protein to bind to and the ability in londa they are called as c reactive protein and c crp nu arinadu which act as an opsonins opsonins act act you what do you mean by opsonins it is a greek word meaning prepared food for okay it is a greek word meaning prepared food for that is phagocytosis may be ab enhanced by a variety of factors collectively referred to as opsonins and the bacteria bound crp protein activates a complement which facilitates its uptake of phagocytosis bacteria bound to crp it bound in the bacteria will activate the complement system which will increase the phagocytosis activity this is the function of acute phase proteins crp opsonins and complement activation activation then phagocytosis next one is cellular factors cellular factor natural immunity provided by cellular factors that is phagocytosis and natural killer cells phagocytosis is an important topic in innate immunity it is a process of cell eating and there are mainly two types microphages und macrophages und these are professional phagocytes on on this on some occasions other cells also perform the function of phagocytosis like macrophages etc neutrophil eosinophil basophil these are the uh, components of a blood the microphages that are polymorphonuclear leukocytes it includes neutrophil eosinophil basophils and they are dominant in wbc in blood this cells possess multi lobe nuclei we learned about the blood components and in blood uh, it is multi lobed nuclei the cells have a multi lobe nuclei they do not divide and are short lived on they do not divide and they are short lived macrophages what is the function of macrophages they are the cells of the mononuclear phagocytosis system which is originally called as reticulo endothelial system okay reticulo endothelial system in the cells are macrophages nu arena the cells is usually derived from bone marrow uh, promonocytes and which later differentiate into monocytes of the blood and this monocytes of blood will represent the mononuclear phagocytic system and this monocytes will remain in the blood for a short time approximately about 24 hours then they migrate into the tissues to become macrophages this is how macrophages are forming okay the cells from bone marrow from monocytes into monocytes then monocytes will represent representatives of the mononuclear phagocytic system then this will remain monocytes will remain in blood for 24 hours then later it will migrate into tissue to become the macrophage then some of the macrophages are of free aidikum while other fixed aidikum two types of macrophages are now fixed macrophages and free macrophages so this is a formation promonocytes in bone marrow monocytes in blood then it will be uh, for 24 hours and after that it will migrate to tissues to form a macrophage two types and now free macrophages and fixed these are the examples of free macrophages and fixed macrophages then the macrophages are long lived long lived are they are usually found in engulfing bacteria viruses and protozoans engulfing bacteria and virus and protozoan lo are usually namulla macrophages ne kaana they are long lived then what is the process of phagocytosis എങ്ങനെയാണ് ഫാഗോസൈറ്റോസിസ് നടക്കുന്നത് വാട്ട് ആർ ദ പ്രോസസ് ഇൻവോൾഡ് ദർ ആർ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സ്റ്റേജസ് ലൈക്ക് കീമോ ടാക്സിസ് അറ്റാച്ച്മെൻറ്റ് ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിലുള്ള കില്ലിങ് ആൻഡ് ഡൈജഷൻ കീമോ ടാക്സിസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫാഗോസൈറ്റ്സ് ടു ദ സൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ ഒരു ഇൻഫ്ലമേഷനോ ഒരു ഇൻഫെക്ഷനോ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ആ ഒരു സ്ഥലത്തേക്ക് ആ ഒരു സൈറ്റിലേക്കുള്ള മൂവ്മെൻറ്റിനെയാണ് കീമോ ടാക്സിസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് റെസ്പോൺസ് ടു കീമോ ടാക്റ്റിക് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ്
which produced by foreign particles foreign particles are produced in the chemotactic factors in a response site illa movement to the site of infection or damaged or dead tissue that is called chemotaxis next stage nu parna endha avade etti kaniya they will attach attach of phagocytes to foreign particles foreign particles like at, attaching and the attachment promote in the opsonins and like antibodies or activated complement factors which form a coating around the particle which promote e attachment promote in alkar and opsonins opsonins will form a coating around this particle foreign particle in the molelude or coating form once the attachment is made attach ve id kaniyal ejection nadakum okay they will take that foreign particles the cell membrane of phagocyte will produce pseudopodia amoeba in the time will be false like so called pseudopodia around the particle and thus the particle completely enclosed in the vacuole pseudopodia you see that it completely our particle ne enclose in vacuole like which is known as phagosome phagosome nu parannulla or structure form cheyum soon it will fuse with lysosome of the phagocytic cell and fusion result in formation of phagolysosome known as secondary lysosome form cheyum this are the stages which involved in the process of phagocytosis first one is first one we have learned that is chemotaxis or infection vannu kaniyal aa or infection veruna site like a foreign particles in the chemotaxic adayathu they will uh, secrete some of the factors and to res- in response to that it involves a movement of phag- phagocytes will move to the, the the site of infection part then after that it will start attaching attaching to the foreign particles the attachment will be promoted by opsonins by creating a coating around the particles then it will take uh, the take up take up the foreign particles using pseudopodia and it will be completely enclosed in the vacuole which is known as phagosome phagosome undai kaniyal adu phagocytic cell in the lysosome it fuse edit oru phagolysosome create you that is secondary lysosome nu parinadu next stage is intracellular killing now the cell is intracellular so next is, uh, stage is intracellular killing this is done by antimicrobial substance produced by lysosome this substance like uh, lysozyme hydrogen peroxide milo peroxide etc the substances is antimicrobial of lysosomes and it will help in intracellular killing in addition to this pmn also have cationic proteins lactoferritin in milk we have already uh, learned lactoferritin which also have an antibacterial action finally the killed organism and cells will be digested by hydrolytic enzyme lysosome also contain hydrolytic enzyme after killing the organism it will be digested and followed by elimination of the product into the exterior so phagocytosis can also kill a neoplastic cells in other cells in you can directly without injecting them but uh, just by membrane contact which it then avarku or contactual cell injury undakitte uh, phagocytosis properties process nadatan pattum like neoplastic cells in you can kill in a time just a membrane contact which it and it is called as contactual cell injury so i hope you understand this is a process of uh, phagocytosis different stages in this image you can see attachment then using the pseudopodia it is engulfing the foreign particles and after engulfing phagosome is produced when it is fu- fused with the lysosome then uh, uh, phagolysosome will be produced it is a secondary lysosome then after that it will be digested by hydrolytic enzyme and it will be a, re- a digested product will be re- a released to exterior this are the different stages of phagocytosis which is an important part in innate immunity another one is natural killer cells these are non phagocytic lymphocytes and large granules hence uh, the cells also known as large granular lymphocytes nanu paraya im4 nokka pare nk cells and the cells also show natural cytotoxicity Uh, they can kill a range of tumor cells this nk cells we have learned that uh, nk cells have another property this is anti cancer that is uh, it can kill the tumor cells and cells infected with virus without any antigen stimulation it can 
kill certain viruses and uh, kill tumor cells also and they themselves identify tumor cells virus infected and kill them they don't need any help of other cells natural killer cells means naturally it can kill other viruses or tumor cells without any assistance of certain another cells hence they are named as natural killer cells originate from lymphoid progenitor they along with b and t lymphocytes and nk cells is components of both innate and adaptive immunity next one is functions functions we all know apoptosis what do you mean by apoptosis programmed cell death is known as apoptosis killing of virus hidden inside the cell lysis of virus tumor cells and they secrete cytokines cytokines is an important which activate the nk cells with gamma interferons macrophage phagocytosis lysis etc and it will recognize tumor cells and kill them without any existence of other cells and activation result in extracellular release of certain chemical and most important is perforin and cytolysin which lysis a virus infected cell thus causing the death of the virus these are the important functions of nk cells you can read this next one is genetic factors genetic factors means natural immunity is also due to some genetic factors okay adha the immunity differs at level of a species races individuals la adu vary yanla chance and it differs species immunity means exhibited by all members of a species that is rats rats are insusceptible to diphtheria while e guinea pigs human beings are highly susceptible to the same so species immunity is also an important thing an innate immunity human beings are highly susceptible for common cold which is caused by rhino virus whereas dogs are not susceptible for the virus causing cold okay measles attack only human beings measles human beings ne matram virunna or asugana it cannot infect non uh, non primates ne infect cheya infect cheyilla dogs ne cold verilla human beings can confer common cold so this is the species immunity it can differ species to species racial immunity anengilo within the species different races show difference in susceptibility in usa negroes are more susceptible to tuberculosis than whites white men kattilum negroes na tuberculosis varu they are more susceptible to tuberculosis so racial immunity und racial immunity also play an important role in innate immunity then individual immunity different individuals of the same race is known as individual immunity human twins we know identical twins homozygous irikum which will exhibit similar degree of resistance or susceptibility to leprosy and tuberculosis whereas heterozygous twins anengilo do not show such correlation so this is the indi- individual immunity so this genetic factors is also an important uh, important thing or important component of the innate immunity because from species to species it may differ from race race to race it may differ from individual to individual it may differ this is an important point in innate immunity next one is body temperature we all know that important in determining in the innate immunity for example in tubercle bacilli which is a pathogenic to mammals warm blooded animals will not infect cold blooded animals okay tubercle bacilli nu parayunnathu warm blooded animals na matra affect cheyum it is pathogen to us cold blooded animals ni infect cheyilla hence body temperature 40 degree celsius aanu naturally immune to anthrax but they can be infected if their body temperature is lowered body temperature hence inde the koranju kelnal anthrax asugam varam pakshe hence in normally body temperature is 40 degree celsius aayadu kondu they are immune to anthrax gonococci killed by temperature over 40 degree celsius aanu fever therapy na paraya originally used to gonococcal infections discovery of antibiotics such as penicillin de uh, discovery inde munne fever therapy na paraya gonococci nu parinad over 40 degree celsius le namukku kill cheyan pattum adu idana temperature nu parinad body temperature plays an important role in innate immunity next one is infl- inflammation which is familiar 
which is familiar to us. Injury of the tissues or irritation caused by entry of pathogens. One pathogen sent to Chedu Garinyal. Our tissue no nangal injury viru or irritations will be there, which will lead to cellular or vascular changes. Adin and inflammation varina. Four important features are there for inflammation. Four important features are there for inflammation. Heat, pain, redness and swelling. Heat, pain, redness and swelling. Inflammation one nyal. It will produce heat. It will contain pain. Redness will occur. Swelling will be there. These are the characteristics of the inflammation. At the site of inflammation, three major changes occur. Arterioles con constrict you. And later they will dilate. Blood flow ni increase you. Capillary walls in the permeability increase you. And fluid exudation narakum. Apparently swelling very another. Polymorphonuclear leukocytes are microphages. Blood in the escape out. In the tissue will keep on. Diapedesis na paria. And it will accumulate at the site of injury. Injury will lead to point to accumulate in the This will followed by phagocytosis. And the damaged tissue. This is called as inflammation. Uri injury yo. Irritation or cell will come to the cell. Our cell will come to the cell. The tissue will come to the cell. Inflammation, heat and down, pain and down, redness and swelling. How this all things are happening. And explain it to the arteriolar constricting, capillary walls in their permeability increase, swelling, microphages escape, tissue, uh, injured tissue accumulate, phagocytosis, etc. These are the important points of inflammation. The next one is fever. Fever, fever means a rise in body temperature. We are going to do an infection and in your body temperature will rise. It is called as fever. There is a natural defense mechanism of fever. Fever is not going to be able Because a foreign particle invades our body should react to it. Our body will increase the temperature to kill that invader. Rise in temperature will help to accelerate the physiological process and may destroy the infecting pathogens. Fever, interferon production and stimulate you. Help in recovery from virus infection. We have to antiviral and interferon. Interferon is antiviral. Interferon is stimulate you fever. So whenever a foreign particle enters, the body will rise its temperature. It is known as parexia or fever. Which will accelerate the physiological process. Which will stimulate the interferon. Okay. Help in recovery from virus infection. So, these are the important components. Principal components of innate immunity. So, what we have learned today. Natural and inherited defense. Uh, innate immunity means inherited by birth. It is non-specific. Physical factors. What is Skin. Skin like stratum corneum, mucous membrane, mucous membrane, mucous secretion, sticky, sticky in nature, entrapped microorganisms, killium, cilia, respiratory tract, this urubad cilia syndrome, constantly moving, it will swept away all the microorganisms, coughing, sneezing, peristalsis, intestinal peristalsis movement, gut, pathogens, remove, tears, saliva, and urine. We have biochemical factors, sweat, HCL, lactoferritin in milk, lysozyme, interferons, complement, pepperidin, bacteriosin, we have spermine, spermine and zinc in semen, cellular factors, phagocytosis, process of phagocytosis is very important. Then NK cells, that is natural cell, natural killer cells and without any assistance of certain cells, it can directly kill the tumor cells and vir uh, virus. Then genetic factors, genetic factors were to individual difference and down, racial differences, species differences and down in eighteen immunity in a case. La. Body temperature and importance were to body temperature and such innate immunity change our manner of chance and the body what is inflammation, inflammation the process, but then what is fever, importance of fever, but this is this all thing we have discussed in this. I hope you all understand the importance of innate immunity. 
and the principal components of innate immunity and I will definitely do in another video on the topic cell associated pattern recognition receptors and sensors which is very important in the point of view for MSc students and I hope I hope you all understand this topic if you like my video please subscribe and let's see in another video thank you so much